No makeup video. My windows are open. The background noise is probably terrible. I'm also cooking an egg, but my thoughts just kind of couldn't wait. The egg is a little bit loud. Maybe if I turn the temperature down, it will make less noise. The perks of living alone and also being really busy. So I am multitasking as fuck. Cooking my breakfast while I record a video that isn't about my breakfast. I've been living alone for like a month and a bit now, but I had James and Ned to stay and that definitely will have changed the experience of living alone because I had other people living here with me for like two weeks. But even though I haven't really lived alone for that long, I still wanted to make a video about it. And this is that video! Ah, spoiler alert! I actually kind of like it. Because I have such like a routine and a rhythm and I'm I'm in it, like I get bored and I get a little bit sad and I'm like, oh, I'm alone. But I have really good friends I see literally all the time. Like I'm constantly around people when I'm at work and then I always have someone I can call who can come over, which is usually my other friend James, not the one who came to stay, obviously, because he doesn't live here. This egg is going to be so annoying when I edit this video, and I know that, but like, I kind of don't care. I like it crispy though, guys. I like my fried egg kind of crispy. I mean, this looks like a steak, but this is actually, my flat is like so clean right now. I cleaned it fairly ferociously yesterday. I mean, I was, I was hungover, but I had a really good time when I went out, so the hangover was kind of worth it. And I got most things done that I needed to get done. The only thing I didn't really do is uh, film or edit a video. But nobody really wants to film a video in a hungover state. So, hence why I'm doing it now. But living alone can be really scary. I'm definitely more scared at night, especially because I live with a boy. I live with a boy and he's quite tall. And therefore, I don't feel like I'm going to be murdered in the middle of the night. But... Because he's not here, I literally cannot sleep through the night. Last night, I slept through the night, and that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is such a big deal. I've been such a light sleeper, because I think I'm just, like, anxious that I'm gonna be killed. Or, like, there's gonna be a fire or something. I slept through a fire alarm when I lived at home. And I think I probably could do the same if Freddy was here. But because he's not, I cannot sleep through the night. So, especially because I know that he's a really light sleeper, so I also have that, like, I think subconsciously. But yesterday I actually slept through the night and it was so, so good. Well, last night, yesterday. And this morning I got up and I did some just dance. It's nice having the space to myself in a way, like it's hard, but I'm trying to be like, what's the good things I've actually really enjoyed and like learned from? Um, I've learned it's really fucking hard to handle all the chores because usually we kind of split them up. Okay, my egg's finally done. <laughs> but yeah, usually we split the chores up and I found that it is really quite hard to juggle all of that on my own, but I think I'm getting better at it and I'm, I'm getting into more of a routine and like I'm not having a ton of people over. I usually only have like one person come around in the evening or something. And so I don't end up with a bunch more washing up, which is good. Cause I think when you're living with two people, like we accumulate so much washing up and that's overwhelming so at least it's a bit less overwhelming but it's like i'm the only one doing all of the stuff i don't know i have noticed there's a lot less washing to be done as well which is nice because that was the thing i was actually the most worried about i was like i'm not gonna have enough time to do all of my washing i'm not gonna be able to wash all my clothes um i say that like i'm wearing anything that interesting today but um i'm on my period so actually just like fuck off the thing i will say i haven't actually done like a food shop like usually we go to aldi i say we usually like fred goes to aldi and i'm just like get these things please and thanks but usually we shop at aldi and i haven't had a chance to go there because i've literally just had like such a jam-packed schedule i mean i've had like three days off in total like i've had bits of days off obviously but it's hard trying to balance all the chores of having a social life that isn't near a camera and fitting in like 
relaxing time and stuff so that I don't actually go insane. But hopefully I'm gonna do a food shop today and hopefully that will last me until Fred gets back and then uh, the tubathon will be over and then you know it'll all go back to normal. But it's actually been really good for me and I think it was so good that it lined up so perfectly with the tubathon. I think if it hadn't I probably would have been really struggling right now. But it's all good and if you're scared to live alone then, I mean, do be, do be, it, it, it's a lot. But if you're scared from going from living with people to living alone, as in people that aren't like your family, then um, you've got this. If I can do it, then you can do it. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. I've got an egg and then I've got Marmite on the other one. But believe in yourself, okay? I didn't believe in myself, but look at where I am. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Bye! Thanks for watching.